there's always a lot of Lego in the house. I was not paid by Lego to say that. Hello, I'm Ditte. I'm the creative director of Gany. We are here in Copenhagen in our home. The house is from 1865 and uh, it was kind of really important for us that we respect the dead and that we took that into every consideration when we, we do something. This is actually one of my favorite, I think the whole family's favorite rooms. It's uh, Noir Arrangerie, uh, an extension of the kitchen. And this is where we spend most of our time. When we redid the house, we really wanted to be a place where you feel welcome. You can see that there's kids, you know, and, and that it's okay that you're just having fun and enjoying yourself. And I think that is the most important thing about a home. I hope that people feel when they're entering our house that that they, you know, you can relax and just be yourself and have a good time. When we created the kitchen, it was super important that it was functional. And we knew from the beginning that we wanted this uh, very classic Copenhagen uh, shaker kitchen, the look of it. When you're from uh, Denmark, I think one of the most important thing is open face sandwiches. It's with the some with the rye bread. This is one of my favorites from the Svenike Bakery, um, and it's uh, delicious. Here we are in uh, our bedroom. It's one of my favorite rooms. Uh, it was really important for us that uh, that it has this that we try to create this super light, comforting, super welcoming room. So we opened up the ceiling to create a more a spacious feeling. And as you can see, it's uh, in a way very ganified. It's uh, I collected these patchwork uh, textiles for many years and paired it uh, with a classic stripe and also some uh, curtains with the flower print. I'm going to show you one of some of my favorite pieces. If I should pick a style that really defines my style, it could be this dress. I always, at Gany, we always work with contrast, and I think this is a really good example. It is a super feminine flower print paired with these black uh, ribbons that creates that contrast. I would, uh, I would probably, I would wear it with like that no makeup, no makeup kind of look, and with a pair of sneaks or just some flats. I always collected Vincent since I was a teenager. It's a, and this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a Celine suede vest. And then this is a funny story, actually. It's a Chanel Vincent's bag. I bought it at Vestia, and actually I thought that it was, you know, I really thought that I made a bargain. The price was so good, but I didn't notice the measurements, so when I, received the packet, I was a little bit disappointed that it was actually a Barbie size. <laughs> a fashion no-no for me is for sure trying to be someone that you're not. I think people can see that. I have a very soft spot for jewellery. I have a lot of um, favorite jewellery designers. Uh, one of them is uh, Sophie Pilebra. She actually did uh, me and Nikolai's um, engagement ring 20 years ago. And this is uh, one of my favorite. It says, yeah, Nikolai did it. I really love this one. This one is called Nadia Shalbaya. She's actually my next door neighbor and some, one of my good friends. She's very talented. And the last one here is uh, Vanilla Kata. We did this uh, pendant together last season where we, uh, a version of our butterfly. Uh, and I wear this for almost every day. So here we are in our bathroom and I'll just show you some of my beauty secrets. <laughs> this one is actually my favorite cleanser. It's uh, from a brand called Honey. It's two Danish super sweet girls that uh, created this uh, beauty brand together. They have a few, but very good products. I would recommend this as a, if you look super tired, this uh, 
Creme Pigment 400 gives you a little bit of a, a very nice glow. Mm. My best beauty advice would be less is more. Now we're here at our office. It actually also works as a place where we watch TV together with the rest of the family. When I entered Ghani, I had been working as a buyer for many years. People that I was inspired by, I couldn't really recognize them in, in the Scandinavian brands that was, was, was that came out of Scandinavia at that time, or Denmark at least. So it was either very androgynous or very romantic, bohemian. Um, and I just kind of feel like there was something missing out there. When we took over Ghani, there was two, two and a half employees. And we kind of just started, in a way, it's the same way as we work today. It's all about what feels right. That is kind of the core of Ghani. I always, always enjoyed, ever since I was a small kid, to read. When I read, I, I, you know, I forget about everything. All, you know, the issues at the office or problems in life or whatever. So that's uh, something I really enjoy. One of my favorite uh, authors, she was actually, I remember when I was a teenager and I, I read to Edith Lawson the first time, childhood and youth and actually poison, but that means Married, married life. And these, I'm very, very, very uh, fond of. It's from a friend called Lauren. She's, uh, she's a girl I met through uh, a Ghani. She's a professional ballet dancer. She gave me these and I really treasure it. They're so tiny and beautiful. Here we are in the living room. It was one of the rooms that we fell in love with the first time we saw the house the most, but uh, maybe because of the fire here. And here, these photos are from Caspar um, Sejersen. He's a, a Danish photographer who he has done some amazing work. He's very talented and he's one of those that we are very proud of here in Denmark. So, voila. Mm.